today's video i am scared i'm scared we have a knuckle sandwich to review today the knuckle sandwiches are known to be very very spicy cigars <sighs> let's just ah uh, let's just get into it this was given to me by the very infamous smoke one if you have one in other words my girlfriend eric i think i only had one handful of knuckle sandwiches in my life i received one as a gift when i visited the espinosa factory in miami i had a luxury meeting eric espinosa i had a knuckle sandwich once i came back home from miami and eric actually sent me two of these so i had my second knuckle sandwich then and i believe i had a knuckle sandwich years ago but again that was during a time period where i was just coming up of just understanding the whole cigar world that i don't even remember it back then i used to just smoke this to smoke today we are reviewing the third installment of espinoza's knuckle sandwich chef's edition which is in collaboration of guy fieri I'm getting from the wrapper, which is making me scared, is nothing much. I'm getting a little bit of wood. Your standard tobacco. Just it just smells like tobacco. Like you walk into a lounge. It's some milk chocolate candy. That's all you're getting. It smells like when you're holding a Hershey bar for a little while, or a nested crunch, or Anything that has chocolate, even the Kit Kat. You know when you have, obviously, the melted residue of the chocolate in your hand because you held it for too long? That's the smell I'm getting from this. I'm getting, like, chocolate residue. It's not oily. It doesn't feel oily to the touch. Cold draw gives me a reminder of a little bit of Cocoa Puffs. The part that's making me scared is that I don't smell no spice. I don't taste no spice. I'm scared. <laughs> well, yellow. That was by far the loudest ping I have ever heard. Is that a sign from God? That might have been a sign from God. Oh, uh, yeah. Very tight draw. Ooh, my tongue really feels pepper. Ooh, I'm not getting much flavor at the moment. I'm just getting this pepper. I just ate something spicy, like some buffalo sauce or hot sauce. I'm just, my palate is getting overwhelmed by this little spicy. Just aftertaste. Okay, no flavor yet. Really tight. Woo. Now things are coming in. Oh. Chocolate. Some fruitiness. Definitely a combination of like red and black pepper. You have this combination of red and black pepper in there. Oh my God. It was like a chili pepper. I'm staring at myself in my recording. Oh my God. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be fun. As I do my best to open up the foot of the cigar so I can get more in-depth elements with taste notes and 
most likely a draw. Right now, I feel like I'm not getting much of the components of taste notes. I'm getting a lot of spice. I'm getting red pepper, black pepper. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. There's more in there. Any more smoke input. So as this is burning, I'm going to break down the cigar for you guys. My body is rejecting this. What the hell? Let me just break down the cigar for you guys. This cigar is called a figurado. People also are calling it a perfecto. Either or, figurado, perfecto. They're basically in the same ballpark of the description of the Vitola. The length of the cigar is six and a half inches and the ring gauge is 52. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano Rosado, with both the binder and filler being from Nicaragua. But what makes this cigar also unique, I may have not reviewed much of their cigars as of yet. Back in my initial start, I was huge on AJ Fernandez cigars. And the main reason why I love AJ Fernandez cigars is because it was spicy. And I always love spice in cigars. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because this cigar was rolled in AJ Fernandez factory in Ocatal, Nicaragua, in the factory of El San Lotano. Both the binder and filler came from San Lotano factory in Ocatal, Nicaragua through AJ Fernandez. You have Espinosa being notorious for spice. You have AJ Fernandez, which is also known for good spicy cigars with the palate of Guy Fieri. All that combination made this cigar. AJ Fernandez, Espinosa, and Guy Fieri in one cigar. The cool thing about the cigar too is it's not pocket breaking. The MSRP of the cigar is $12.50. Even though this cigar is limited with 2,500 boxes or 2,500 boxes, each carrying 10 cigars in total. There's 25,000 of these cigars in the world. It sounds very limited. <laughs> All right, the tightness is gone. Now the cigar is drawn like a straw. Sorry if there's any discomfort in my face. I can't feel my nose. This cigar is spicy. So off the back, I do not recommend anybody who is brand new to cigars to try this cigar. I will say people who already experience majority of different variation of cigars, most likely people who are intermediate, people smoke at their own pace. Some people are weekly smokers. Some people are daily smokers. Some people are bi-monthly, occasional event, so on. Everybody's frequency of this lifestyle is different. I'm daily. So I've smoked maybe 10,000 cigars, but I'm just saying for those who occasionally smoke, maybe when you're a year or two years in, try the cigar because it packs a punch. It It's like a train hitting me in like my nostrils. I'm going to attempt to <sighs> attempt it again. Oh, but you get chocolate, woodsy, this earth, it's, it tastes, it has a good taste. It's just that, that red and black pepper combination. Boom. It's like someone punches you right in the, in the nose, a nose burns. Wow. It gives me that feeling like I'm, he, I'm eating hot wings. You know, we have hot wings. You have the residue in your mouth. And it kind of leaks towards your nose and your nose starts to like drip. It's not dripping now. It's that sensation. I'm getting the sensation. Holy hell. And the fact that the strength of the cigar is supposed to be meeting the full. Boy, there's not really much background I can give you guys with the cigar. It was just the third project that Eric Espinosa and Guy Fieri made. They've been collaborating since 2021. And this cigar was released in 2022 at the PCA trade show. That's basically all it is. Eric and Guy Fieri got together, made this edition. This is their third installment, and they revealed it on PCA. That's all the background there is. Now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to try to go through the third, second, third, last third in retro as frequently as I can. That is possible for become Patrick from SpongeBob. Just straight face, no nose.
Remember, that retro was more smoother. I did a very, very slow retro. Definitely chocolate, definitely earthy, leathery, peppery, both elements of black and red. You also have the element not as intense as the Amazon Basin of 2024, but Petrichor. And what Petrichor is, is when you go through a dry season, no rain, no nothing, the land is dry. Then you finally get your first bit of rain. And that smell in the air, you get the freshly moist earth. That's what I'm getting very residuals of. Not prominent, but residuals. It's definitely at the very tail end. Once that spice factor comes in and kicks your ass, you have this chocolate that's above, and then the aftertaste is just petrichor. But it's very subtle. Ooh, wait. I'm getting more stuff. I'm getting apricot. But the ones that you use to go that looks so god damn it oh ew dude what the fuck well that's my digital footprint I, I how can i even show this without it looking bad <laughs> you use what you get from like you go to any store and it allows you to grind the, 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 i'm not even I'm just gonna, just, here's a gif of it being done. I'm not even gonna do it with my hands. That, it tastes like that. There's undertones of that. We have like this brown sugar taste to it as well. I can understand why this is called a chef edition. God damn, it's flavorful. Here's my standard question in every video I do. A lot of celebrities are hopping on the trend of making cigars. For example, you had Shady XX from Jewel State. It may not have been from Eminem, but it was through his manager Rosenberg that collaborated with Jewel State. You have Guy Fieri doing cigars. You have the M81, a collaboration project with Metallica. The question I'm trying to ask you guys is out of all celebrity collaboration projects with cigars, which one is your favorite one? There's even a toastiness aspect to the cigar. It feels like when you put your food in the oven, I feel like I'm eating something that has been in the toast oven, like a pizza. That's all together now. See you guys in the second third. The elements of the cigar changed drastically. That toastiness, gone. Now you have like this doughy taste to it. It's almost like a lasagna. Now you have like this little herb taste to it with the spices, red pepper. I feel like I'm smoking either like a pasta, a lasagna. So you have this doughy component, which is like a pizza. The pepper really simmered down a lot. <laughs> but there's still a lot in there. <laughs> Hurts the back of my throat. One thing I like about the cigar too is the burn has been consistent. Not once has it died down on me. I haven't had any blank spots where there's like no flavor. This cigar has been just been bursting with flavor. That first third was just, I don't even know like a dish to like compare it to. Now, this is like a pasta. This is just like you having a piece of lasagna. You're having a piece of pizza. It's just this weird combination. You have the pepper, that chocolate, gone. The moment it transitions into the second, third, chocolate was gone. Just a sugary sweetness. That's still a part of it. It's definitely not chocolate. I like this a lot. I'm enjoying this. There's nothing else in the second, third that I could find than what I just described. I'll catch you guys in the next five minutes. Yep, I knew it. In five minutes, it was going to transition. The pepper died down. It's still spicy, but not as spicy as from before. Still the same herbal. Now it's like cedar. It gives me the feeling that 
it was a pizza baked on a wooden slab because obviously you have brick ovens where you just throw the pizza in the brick oven call it a day the difference is that below the pizza is firewood you have this cedar like element that's starting to push to the front of the flavor notes with this herbal earthiness to it this is an intense cigar everything on this is full flavorful body full strength is full everything is right now is it, this is kicking my ass this is really kicking my ass i'm low-key getting a headache from this but that spice really dulled down a lot so now i'm actually enjoying all of the flavors from it like even the aromatic aspect to the smoke it's almost like wood shavings you have like this light cinnamon component that's in there too the pasta element diluted a lot right now it's just now your kind of generic cigar with a little bit of a tang to it i felt went through the whole aspect of like a two-course dinner i was there smelling the aromas of the food being made i sat down and ate the lasagna now i have these peanut butter sugar cookies to the side that i'm enjoying for my dessert that's what this is i still have the remnants of the lasagna herbs and spices linger in my mouth as i'm eating the peanut butter cookie this is not even like your typical cigars where usually the last third it just completely dies down yes there's that much cigar left the tobacco is like literally right there meaning the flavors are going to dilute a lot but despite a lot of the flavors being diluted it still punches you with flavor Look at that smoke output. This is an amazing cigar, honestly. I think on that note, that's all it is for the last third, which is delicious. So I'm just gonna get into my ratings. So with construction, no canoeing, draw was great. That very beginning initial start was very tight, was hard to get any smoke anywhere you have the ash which is gray or dark gray but no canoeing not me having to relight the cigar once so i'm gonna give the construction i'm gonna give it a seven and the reasoning for that number is because that tightness in the beginning and then the color of the ash that's the reason why i'm giving it a seven for taste notes i'm gonna give it a seven as well yes this cigar did take me to flavor town that spice just oversaturates your palate which hides the taste once you do adjust to the whole spice element you get to taste the cigar but not everybody can tolerate spice spice is something that's acquired it's an acquired taste not everybody loves buffalo sauce. Not everybody loves hot sauce. Not everybody loves jalapeno stuff. Not many people like habanero. It's an acquired taste. And because the spicy index is so high, it kind of overstimulates your palate where sometimes it numbs it out. And it even like gives you a little bothersome feeling in your nose, your nostrils. And it kind of gave me a slight headache. But moving past all that element, the taste was very well. Now it's a dessert. And lastly, my experience. Experience wise, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It's been a long while since I had a cigar that the last third gave me a lot of flavor. Typically cigars I have tried from all price ranges from the very bottom of $8 to 10 to cigars even 25 plus. Typically the last third has to be just your generic stuff. This last one has the element of that dessert style feel, which is that sugary peanut butter cookie with slight, very remnants of the herbal, slight remnants of the pepper, slight remnants of the spice. So it still has components of what makes the cigar unique. To be the last third only has earth or cedar or whatever. And yes, that has this aspect, but it's not prominent. It's definitely the forefront. You still have that peanut butter cookie coming in. You still have that sugary cookie coming in, the peanut butter cookie coming in, that herbal tail end at the very end of the puff. So it 
it's unique and it gave me a good experience but that is why i'm giving it a seven and a half i kind of don't like how i kind of feel because i have this slight headache from the cigar and it made my nostrils and my palate just numb those are my three ratings meaning this cigar is like a 7.25 meaning this is an ash i do want to give you a fair warning this cigar is a spice bomb i insist if you're experienced with the cigar community and the cigar lifestyle give this a try if you can find it give it a try you won't regret it but if you don't like spice i would say avoid this if you don't mind spice give it a try on that note hope you guys enjoyed my review of the knuckle sandwich chef edition by espinoza and guy fieri until next time guys as always i love your faces and i'm out peace